Okay, I thought I'd do this short video because I was having trouble with Big Sur and OBS. So I wasn't getting the um, audio input capture from the desktop. So what I did is I went over to uh, iShow Audio. I show you audio, that's what I was using before and it was working fine. And then I got this big message come up saying that uh, just upgraded to Big Sur, please use SWB Audio app. So I clicked on that and it took me to this website and uh, lo and behold, it's not free anymore. They give you a seven day free trial and they want $12 US per year. And I thought, stuff that, <laughs> I'll look for something free. So I was looking through the forums and I came across this one, it's called Black Hole. Uh, route audio between apps um, now you just put your email address and everything in there and subscribe for a free Mac download uh, that's from a Mac you also got Windows there it's automatically goes to whichever operating system you're using and um, apparently you can do it through homebrew as well but you know if you're not if you're not familiar just just put just put a like a fake email address in whatever one you use for for uh, not your primary one if you don't want to use your primary one. So anyway, it's pretty pretty easy. That just installs. Um, so you've, once once you uh, put in your email address, you get a link, and it comes over to here. Once you've once you've verified, and you can download download the sixteen channel one. Right. So I downloaded that, and that worked fine. And next up, I'll show you. So you go to your MIDI. This is with a Mac. Uh, go to the MIDI, MIDI um, what's it called here, audio MIDI setup and I've got one called multi output Onkyo because I've got a little Onkyo uh, receiver here and I you know, play through my speakers and so forth when I'm when I'm uh, on my Mac so this is the black hole one here, oops all right let's get over to your MIDI here so you got your black hole one here nothing too fancy there and then you just create a uh, aggregate device which I've called multi output Onkyo so I've got mine USB audio codec that's just going through I've got an Elgato dock that I go through and I run the audio through that and into my receiver so it's a little bit complicated than most um, most people just use the Mac mini speakers or whatever you're using headphones I've got another one called uh, multi-output stinging where I've got some wireless headphones I use so I can actually I should update that while we're here uh, so I'd be using the black hole and that's it so that one's all fixed up now so anyway so that's that's all set up so you set that up in your in your MIDI and then you head over to OBS which we will do now let's get OBS up so you got your OBS there and what you do is you go to you click on the audio input capture click on the little gear icon there and you go to properties and then black hole 16 channel should come up and then it should all work and i'll just test it out for you now uh, i've got my little clip here let's go out of here quick time clip this is one i prepared earlier one of my one of my youtube clips so we'll just play, make sure that that's all coming through. Here we go. Okay, I thought I'd do a short review there. of the well, Rode PSA-1. I can see PSA the audio coming through, so that's um, all working fine. Boom mic arm, and um, so there we go, guys. That's how you fix up the audio with uh, Big Sur. Uh, yeah, I was just having big troubles with it, Big Sur audio, and um, that's totally fixed it up. So hopefully that helps you out. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.